Joint costs, topic two. Approaches to allocating these joint costs. There are four primary approaches for allocating joint costs. The physical measure method, the sales value at split off method, the net realizable value, NRV method, and the constant gross margin percentage of NRV method. As with other concepts in cost accounting, each of these methods has a different level of complexity and cost to implement, with the physical measure method being the most simple and the constant gross margin percentage of NRV method being the least simple. This video is going to provide you uh, an overview and an explanation as to how each of these works while the subsequent two videos in this week's uh, mini lecture series will dig into the quants. I recommend leaving sufficient time to attempt and review the tutorial videos inside of Brightspace. First up, the physical measure method, which allocates joint costs on the basis of a physical measure at the split off point. This is most commonly weight or volume, and the costs are allocated on the proportion of their physical measure that the output occupies. So let's imagine a process of producing cheese from milk. The process yields cheese curds to be continuously processed into cheese blocks to be sold in stores and whey extract to be sold to smoothie producers. Each of the cheese and whey would be measured based on weight and allocated joint costs proportionate to their weight. Next up, the sales value at split off method which allocates joint costs on the basis of the relative sales value of the outputs the moment they reach the split off point. Returning to our cheese and whey example, when the split off point is reached, that is when cheese curds have been separated from the liquid whey, each of the products would be assessed for a sales value. Each product's sales value is then divided into the total sales value for both products to obtain a percentage that would be used to allocate the joint costs. The net real realizable value, the NRV method, is most similar to the sales value at split off method, but instead of using the sales value at split off for producing the weightings, it uses the expected final sales value of each product less their separable costs. In the example of cheese and whey, once the cheese curds have been separated from the whey, they need to be molded and solidified before being sold, and the whey requires packaging and testing. The NRV method would look at the final sales value of cheese and packaged whey, deduct the separable costs, that is the molding and solidification of cheese, and the packaging and testing of whey, and then use whatever totals are remaining as the basis for producing joint cost allocation. Lastly, the constant gross margin of NRV method. This is similar to the NRV method, just in reverse. Let me explain. Each product's gross margin and total separable costs are removed from the final sales value of both goods combined. The residual amount for each product is its allocation weight for the joint costs. Note that this produces a constant gross margin for each product produced. After the gross margin is removed, the final sales value of each individual product is produced, separable costs are removed, and the remaining values for each product are the basis of the joint allocation. As I mentioned before, I'll be going through some quant examples in subsequent videos, but for now, let's look at one question to finalize this video. A refining company called Steve Inc. produces multiple different types of ore from a single input, rock blocks. The rock blocks are broken down and the ores collected include copper, coal, gold, and diamonds. The accountants for Steve Inc then search the web for the prevailing prices for each ore that day and allocate the joint costs of breaking the rocks into each product. Steve Inc. is likely using which method? A. Physical measure method. B. NRV method. C. Constant gross margin of NRV method. Or D. 
sales value at split off method? Well, the answer is D. If Steve Inc. is involving the sales value, the answer could not be physical measure method. And further, the question makes no reference to deducting separable costs of refining further or determining gross margin. This means it cannot be using an NRV method, which leaves us with the sales value at split off, which does seem very plausible given the case facts here. Alrighty, I will see you in the next video. Good job. Halfway there, guys.